Welcome to Punarvasi Technologies www.punarvasi.com is my website I wrote many articles on SAP basis administration in this website many people got benefited from my articles in this video I am going to explain you how to install enterprise portal So this is the Windows Server 2008 operating system. I have already installed Oracle software in this. So this is the Oracle folder. I gave the SID for Oracle installation as EPO. And I kept all the software installation files required to install Enterprise Portal. Here, out of these folders, SWPM that is Software Provisioning Manager. So, this is the folder you need to double click on it. And here, you will find two files one is exe file, another is SAP Archiver, means just like zip file. You have to extract this using this SAP CAR file. So, just right click here copy address go to command prompt and type cd space right click paste so that will be switched to the folder where these two files are available ok just type sap and tap from your keyboard so that the entire exe file will be displayed here like this and put space hyphen x v f and space type s w p tab so that entire s w p m 10 s p 05 underscore 5 so complete this file will be displayed like this here and once you get this total command hit enter so that the zip file that is archiver will be extracted and uh, put all the files inside this particular folder like this Okay, 8066 files extracted and pr before proceeding with this installation just you have to check it up the virtual memory for your system from the advanced system settings performance click on the settings adjust for best performance advanced click on the change button here I have assigned 50,000 to 60,000 that means 50 GB I have assigned but uh, you can assign 25 GB 20 GB is enough for installing any SAP system for safe side 25 GB to 30, 30, 25,000 to 35,000 30,000 you put it here once you put this you click on the set so that uh, virtual memory will be configured on your uh, Windows Server operating system and also you need to specify the computer name that is fully qualified domain name like this ECC IDA 7 I have kept if you are planning to install any other uh, like uh, SAP software like right now I am installing enterprise portal so that I can change the computer name to EP but uh, I am leaving this name as it is because it doesn't mind uh, whatever the name you are using and uh, but the name should be like this that is ECCIDA7.ITL.NET that means it is called fully qualified domain name okay just like this click on the properties and click on the advanced system settings go to computer name here you need to change the computer name like this yeah in my case I can change it to EP like this and click on the more button here ITL.net okay now I am not going to change it just cancelling it going back and proceeding with the installation so here the extracted files will be displayed and for these files you have to double click on the SAP inst file so that the installation will be started
out of these options so I am going to install this SAP Enhancement Package 1 for SAP NetUR 7.3 so expand this expand Oracle Database and SAP Systems Application Server Java Standard System Standard System okay click on the next one Keep the typical as default and click on the next. And it will ask you to log off once. Click on the OK button. Control Alt Insert if it is a VMware installation. If you are directly installing on your Windows Server operating system, means physical computer just control all delete installation should start automatically after logging in You need to provide Java Components folder. Yes, Java. So this is the Java Components folder. So you, you select this folder where you see this label.ac file. Until that, you have to expand, and then the root of this particular file should be selected. Click on the OK button. And from here, you are going to install Enterprise Portal so that you select the Enterprise Portal here like this. EP needs AS, EPC, Basic, NW model. So AS means what? Application Server, Basic. AS, where is AS? So this is the AS, Application Server, Java Extensions AS. Okay, and then EPC, EPC. Where is EPC? This is EPC, Enterprise EP Core Application Portal. And Basic, where is Basic? Application Server, Java. And what else? NW Model. Where is NW Model? NW Product Description. So if you are if you want to install enterprise portal these are all the dependencies means this particular enterprise portal depends on these components so that i have whatever the required components are required i have selected clicking on the next button and it is asking you to enter the sap system id sap sid that is i use epo as my database sid Click on the next. So it is asking for the kernel of W731. Go to C drive. Yes, Java. Windows. From here, select the kernel. So this is the kernel. Click on the OK. Click on the next. And these are these are the master passwords. Repeat the password. Click on the next.
and it is asking me to enter the DBS ID that is database SID same thing like uh, EPO click on the next It is going to install on top of DB server version that is 11.2 which is installed by me in this server. Just accept all the details defaults here and click on the next button. And select all as C drive here. If you are planning to keep uh, the E drive in your system, in my case, uh, I have E drive also here. So, if I, I am going to remove this E drive later so that I don't want to spread these files uh, to all the drives, that's why I have selected C drive. If you are planning to keep all the drives as it is, whatever the suggestions uh, given here, you can accept and continue by clicking on the next button. So, in my case, I am completely installing in into the C drive. Click on the next. And this is the listener information. Just keep it as it is. Don't change anything here. Click on the next button. Okay, it will ask you to enter the Oracle client. So Oracle client is available in the same folder. This is the folder and click on the OK and kernel DVD. So just go to C drive as yes, Java and expand this windows and double click on 7. So this is the kernel DVD. Click on the next. Okay, so it's not the folder. Just let us again go to C drive Java Windows so this is the folder okay click on the next no need to install 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 diagnostics agent if you have solution manager system you can tick it so that the solution manager system will be will use this particular installation diagnostics agent to collect the data of this particular AS Java system so in this case it is a standalone uh, enterprise portal system so that you no need to select this option here click on the next button Okay, this is the parameter summary screen. You can click on the show details so that it will display everything here. If you want to change something like if you want to revise something, you can select and uh, uh, click on the revise button to change anything. So I think almost whatever I needed I have selected that is primary application server instance number 00, SES central services are 01 and uh, select how to determine the number of java server nodes automatically java message server port and transport host 30901 and host with transport directory is ecci-7 and uh, what else like uh, if you want if you want to change something like this for suppose if you want to change this general system parameters here destination drive ec drive if you want to change that particular option, you can click on the revise button the, using this revise button. Okay, as of now, okay, everything is fine so that I have removed the tick and clicking on the next button so that the installation will start it. So like this, so okay, you need to wait something around uh, 
two hours two hours time to finish everything so i am pausing the video here once it comes to the final stage of installation i will come back with the successfully completed messages the final uh, screen execution of sap enhancement package one for sap network 7.3 oracle sap systems application server java standard system standard system has completed just click on the ok button here so that this screen will be closed and expand sap systems from the sap mmc screen so we will see this this kind of uh, system there is epo that we have provided uh, the sap sid id while performing installation and this is the central instance so from here you can find out the port number to log on to the enterprise portal using internet explorer so access points and provide the password of your uh, administration administrator account of your uh, server and this is the port number that is 50,000 is the port number 192.168.2.8 okay just double click on internet explorer http colon slash slash so the system name is ECC IDES 7 ECC IDES 7 dot ITL dot net it is fully qualified domain name colon 50,000 slash IRJ slash portal hit enter okay the, if you are uh, seeing this uh, this kind of uh, dialog boxes just uh, go to my computer right click and the message manage click on configure ie extended security features click on the off off click ok click on close this okay so you will get this uh, this type of uh, screen to log on to the portal just type the administrator and the password this password which you, you have provided while installation click log on Okay, that's all. So I hope you understood the how to install enterprise portal and uh, how to log on to the system. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or doubts, you can leave your uh, YouTube channel. So you just click on the subscribe button under this video to get updates about uh, new videos in the future and uh, there are also a lot of privately listed videos so if you are interested in my videos you can become my um, private list of subscriber to watch all of my hundred and more than hundred and hundred videos on sap administration thanks for watching